So amigo, Ray, this video is for you because you were the first to ask on how to create partitions on Apollo S this row with the new partition scheme. So I'm using a 32 gigabytes CF also. And this is very easy. So Apollo S tools. AG toolbox, select the other device, select the disk, you will see the partitions that are created already. You have two partitions, one FAT16 and the other FAT32. This is for EMUTOS support, the Atari EMUTOS emulator. Then you have the partition 2, that is a virtual disk. Inside it, you have two partitions, the Amiga one okay you cannot you can no longer create partitions in this virtual disk because this virtual disk is not dynamic uh, the size is predefined and you cannot change it but you can create a new virtual disk so add entry and select the empty space from your cf like this okay okay and you see that we have now a new partition created partition three let me just put some zoom here okay i think this is okay now <clears throat> and you will see here the partition type is an rosrdb partition table this is another uh, virtual disk okay so the first thing you want to do is create the table. I want to create a table as RDB. Okay, you all know, we will all notice that we changed color. That means it's active. And we now can create partitions inside this virtual disk. Click on it, add an entry, select and select uh, select the empty space, OK, click on it, and it will show you the size of it, and more information, so we want to change the partition type, but first, I want to rename it, rename from the H0 to the H2, because we have the H0, the H1, I want this as the H2, OK, click on it, the H2 switches, auto mount, OK. Those environment, the mask, you will put the following values. Uh, I have to check my papers here <coughs> because I have too many numbers. Uh, 2, 1, 4, 7, 4, 8. Three, six, four, six, like this. Two, one, four, seven, four, eight, three, six, four, six. Press enter and the max transfer. You will put like this one, three, zero, five, six, zero. Oh. One three zero five six zero. Uh, you can put more buffers here. Uh, the buffers. We have memory enough for this. Okay. Let me give a check. Yeah. Okay. So next step is to change the partition type. So you change type and we select custom file system like this. OK. And I think we have everything. Auto mount. Uh, yeah, OK. Now you just need to click on parent, 
so like the partition parent so like the disk save changes yes yes okay and exit now we need to reboot reboot Okay, he has now created <coughs> the drive, we need now to format it. Uh, it was on here. Okay, oh. <coughs> and for that we need to write this PFS format device. Is the disk D H two the name the name of it? I will put as test. Uh, name name test. Uh, what else? Uh, quick. No icons. And I think I have everything. No. And F and size to 107. Like this. Okay. PFS format device PH2. Name test quick. No icons. And F and size 107. Enter. Enter again, initializing disk, it's formatting, <coughs> and there you go, that's about it, okay, so, now you have your disk, uh, disk information, there you go. Four fourteen gigabytes. Fourteen gigabytes. Good. Well, that's about it. Well, reboot again. Uh, reboot. Yes. <coughs> You can try to copy some files to it. Test from the work, for example, I don't know, tempo, uh, some pictures, pics, follow as, for example, let's copy this, everything to there. Source select, make destination, up, copy. There you go. Good. You all clean up. That's about it. That's about it. Nice.